Hello friends, intuitive Renee here, bringing you daily tarot reading for Saturday the 11th of September 2021. And today I am working with the Tarot of the Magical Forest. It really is just such a gorgeous little deck. Um, it really is a cute deck and I thought for Saturday we need something light. We need something a little bit fun, a little bit, a little bit cutesy. So let's have a look and see exactly what is the message for the day. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? for Saturday. First card we have is the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, I love the colors. I love this background as we go from the ocean and we go to the to the sky with those pinky colors there. Um, Page of Cups, you know, he's very confident. So today we have to be quite confident or we will be quite confident with our emotions, with our outlook on life. But we also have to have a little bit of, I'm going to call it fantasy. And that's, that's exactly what I'm seeing with this Page of Cups. It's about being a little bit a little bit um, um, enthusiastic about life and recognizing that you know what sometimes we can be a little bit silly sometimes we can be a little bit a little bit casual in our approach and with everything that we do so it's not a day for seriousness today it's a day for feeling the feelings it's a day for being connected to your emotions connected to what you're going on but also a day to have a little bit of a little bit of fancy a little bit of fun and a little bit of fantasy okay bring that in don't be don't allow yourself to be too serious today because today is not about seriousness. Today is not a day about being dull and boring. Today is a day to, to get excited when you go and take a sip of your cup and there's a little fish coming out of your cup. It's strange. It's peculiar. It's all of those kind of things. But you know what? Instead of getting angry or upset about it, laugh about it. Have a little bit of fun. But express positive emotions today. Because that's what I'm getting from our page of cups. It's about expressing the emotions, expressing the feelings, and allowing yourself to be just in the now, in the moment. No thinking about consequences. No worrying about, well, if I say this, they may react this way. It's about just enjoying the moment, being in the now. And almost, if I can say, be a little bit silly. You know, because sometimes a little bit of silliness gets us a long way. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Okay, we have got the Ace of Pentacles. First of all, look at that cute paw that's coming through that's offering us this huge big disc. We have a pathway, we have a walkway, we have a journey, a journey to embark on, a journey to go in order to have the new beginnings. So the Ace of Pentacles talks about rewards, it talks about new opportunities for finances, for money, for stuff, for things, okay? So there's definitely that opportunity that's coming through, but it's also saying to us, we need to be a little bit carefree, a little bit laid back, a little bit relaxed. We mustn't always be chasing the dream. We mustn't always be chasing that. I think it's recognizing that there's a time and a place for seriousness and a time and a place for fun and lightheartedness. And I think this is an important message for us on a Saturday. If you're working, even if you're at work today, even if you're one of those people that has to work on a Saturday, try and find a balance between the work, the effort, sorry, the work and the effort and everything that you do and lighthearted, carefree, fun and jovialness. If you're at home, don't try again and have everything in perfect order. Let's be a little bit silly. Let's be a little bit casual and let's have a little bit of fun today because I think that is the important thing there are new opportunities there are plenty of opportunities available for you which is really great it's really nice to know that there are opportunities for change and opportunities for growth and new things coming your way but if you're too serious you're gonna miss it and that's why we've got the page of cups saying to you take take the opportunity take the day to be a little bit more casual a little bit more carefree in your activities today so that when the opportunities present, you are able to, to grab them, take them, accept them, and to work with them. And lastly, oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that. What we've got here is a major arcana card, and it is the card of justice. <laughs> so you can see, first of all, we have this beautiful crocodile um, sitting on a stool. We have this sword upright, and then we also have the scales of balance over here. And it's almost like the crocodile is sitting there ready to give verdict, ready to, to I almost want to say, to, to throw the sword and to decide on outcomes. And I think what's coming for us here, what, what these three cards are saying to us today, there is a time and a place for silly and there's a time and a place for serious. They both can't always exist together. Sometimes there has to be a separation, a division. 
And I think what the justice card is saying to you here, that you've got to understand that if you are just silly all the time, you're going to miss the opportunities. You're going to miss the, the pathways that are going to be opening up for you. But if you're only focused on this, you're going to miss this. You're going to miss the fun. You're going to miss the purpose and the excitement. I think this is saying to you, focus on the balance. Focus on finding that balance with yourself. It is Saturday. It isn't a... I don't want to say it isn't a serious day. Don't let today be too serious, okay? And if you are too focused on being silly or too focused on the opportunities and the things that you have to do and the things that you want to attract in your life, you're going to find that that sword coming down quite hard and quite swiftly on you. But if you can find a balance between the two, I think you're going to find the day just overall being more successful. Justice is the card that says if you do good, you will receive good. If you do bad, you will receive bad. So in this, finding the balance between these two, make sure that you are, are doing good so that you attract good. Because if you have imbalance here, you're going to be attracting a lot more chaos and a lot more devastation and a lot more destruction into your life. And we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to play hard and we want to work hard because that's what today is all about. Playing and working hard to achieve good outcomes. Right, so friends, I'm going to leave it there with love and blessings from my heart to yours. Until we connect again, take care.